Hey guys, Brent Boyer from Adam again. So let's talk divorce. I want to talk today about a question that I got uh, from a client uh, actually just today about uh, living apart at the beginning of a divorce case and about uh, moving out and going to a hotel and all this kind of stuff. A lot of people of course have been there, they get in a fight and they decide they're going to leave the house or they're told to leave the house and uh, this particular person had, he has little kids and uh, you know so there's that whole side of things too with his uh, divorce case so um, you know the, the idea is should I be moving out at the beginning of a divorce I mean we've talked about that a few times with some of our other videos and uh, please uh, click like on the video and if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe that'll help us out and um, but yeah so we've talked about this idea of living apart it's not a good idea to be moving out um, but then this question also was well is my wife free to leave could she you know take the kids and go to Florida and you know the the strange thing the way Michigan law is is she could she wouldn't be breaking any laws if there's not a divorce case filed yet she's free to go she could move take the kids or she could leave for a week or a month or whoever uh, whatever she decides to do um, so this all ties into this advice about not living apart so I decide I'm gonna move out and I'm away from the house and I'm staying at a hotel now I really don't know what's going on for one thing and also I'm not seeing my kids and basically I'm just miserable and I'm paying money to be at a hotel and nothing good is coming of it so you know that that's the first thought on all that is you really do not want to be doing that you do not want to be moving out uh, being gone for a couple days is one thing but being gone for more than that is really going to turn into problems decisions will start to be made and um, so there's really these three sort of concepts that come together of living apart can she move and take the kids and filing first all sort of come together with this discussion um, with this particular client so I wanted you to be aware of that hopefully it helps something to, to think about there of why living apart is such a problem even if it's just temporary and what leads you know basically what comes next if I move out and do this stay at a hotel thing that a lot of people find themselves doing out of uh, keeping the peace or anger or they're upset or whatever reason it is that they take off and go stay at a hotel why that isn't a good idea for more than a few days it's fine to keep the peace for a couple days beyond that it's gonna start leading to problems people start making decisions it can lead your wife to think that well he's gone maybe he wants to leave and you know maybe he's the one that wants a divorce even if she's starting to rethink it so you know nothing marriages are never resolved to living apart so you'd want to keep living together you want to keep in mind that your wife is free to leave she is free to take the kids and if you think that that's a serious concern um, with this person I was talking to there was this threats of well she has family out of state so you know could she leave and take the kids and move to Florida she can so if you think that's really a concern something needs to be done about it and there, there's really two approaches on that number one get advice right away from someone that knows what they're doing and number two you'd want to file uh, get a divorce case filed file first once there's a divorce started it's gonna prevent that sort of games and that sort of nonsense so hopefully that helps just wanted to share all that thanks